Hi everyone, my name is Olivia and I am here again um, to talk about the last topic we spoke about, um, domestic violence. This video is powered by Olivia Inspired Productions. So in the last topic we spoke about, we gave a definition of what domestic violence is and how it occurs and things like that. And I will continue to say that domestic violence does not discriminate people of any race, age, gender, sexuality, religion, educational level, or economic status could be a victim or a perpetrator. So um, this comes in form of um, the, the perpetrator being physically violent, intimidating, manipulative, and trying to control the partner, and also trying to physically um, make them do things that they don't want to do um, by threatening them or, you know, physically harming them or things like that. So when a situation like that comes in, you need to figure out what, what are you doing in that relationship? How are you going to be able to identify that this is happening? We spoke about in the last video about how to figure out what the signs and symptoms are. Uh, when you get into a relationship. Now, um, there are different types of abuse. There is a physical abuse whereby the perpetrator will be able to physically hit the person or harm them, or they can be verbally or emotionally abusive whereby they use their words and hurt you, your feelings, and try to reduce your self-esteem to nothing. And also they can um, financially be abusive by withholding financial resources from you, knowing that they are the only source for you to get that. They can also sexually abuse you, whereby they make you do things that you don't want to do, or even bring another party into your relationship, whereby you don't want that. But that is a kind of abuse too. They can also threaten you with physically with a gun or a knife or any other thing. There's so many things, um, different types of um, abuse. They can also, there's also a digital abuse whereby this involves internet or online bullying, harassment, stalking, and things like that, you know, intimidations. And also physical stalking is also a kind of abuse. So sometimes you wonder, why is it that someone in an abusive relationship cannot get out of that abusive relationship and find their way. It's easier said than done. Sometimes there's so many reasons why these individuals are not able to um, leave that relationship. For example, they, it could be due to fear. They could be afraid of this, uh, the, the, the abuser because they, they don't know what they're going to do to them or fear of the unknown. They don't know what's out there for them. They don't know how to navigate the world by themselves. They could also be due to the fact that they are financially um, restrained. All their finances is based on this person and they don't know how to be able to go out there and survive. It could also be due to the fact that they have children with this person and they don't know what's going to happen to their kid if they leave this relationship. It could also be due to the fact that they think that they love this person and that the person might change one day. So they, their sentiments and emotions are involved. And it could be hard for you to understand that, but it's one of the reasons why the individual will be able to stay in this relationship. And it's beyond our knowledge. But one thing I want to say that there is no time that abuse is okay. Abuse is totally not okay, no matter what, no matter the reason. This individual wants to take control and wants to be hateful. Some people come out from um, abusive relationship. It's also part of the reason they don't leave because they've normalized abuse. Maybe they came out from an abusive family. They feel that this is the norm, but no, it is not. Because some people that were in an abusive family comes out and they make a positive use of that experience and they decide never to do that to somebody else. So if you make a decision to continue being abusive, 
you can also figure out how to make a decision not to. So do not accept that this is a normal thing. It is not. Now, when you are in an abusive relationship, you can figure out how you can find an escape route, safety route. There, is, there are resources out there for you to look for. And on the, on the screen, you will see a hotline number that you can always call. There are advocates for you. You're not alone. So just know that people are there for you to help you. So do not stay in an abusive relationship uh, where there is a domestic violence and the person will destroy you, make your self-esteem low, make you, you know, be like a non-entity. You're not. You're fearfully and wonderfully made. You, you understand what I'm saying? So if you are in a relationship that is abusive, I spoke about this in my previous video. But some of the signs, again, are the abuser will make you feel that you're not worthy. You're worthless, that your thoughts are worthless. When you are around friends, they don't want you to be with your friends. They want you to be isolated. They don't want you to be financially stable. They don't want you to make decisions for yourself. They don't want you to... Um, go out there and meet people, they, they, they keep you back. There are so many signs. When you notice those signs, please try to figure out how to help yourself. Do not stay there and die. So if you are under the sound of my voice this day, I pray that God Almighty will visit your home. Because if you're going through a domestic violence, you're not alone. Shame cannot make you isolate yourself. Know that you can come out and tell people what you're going through. And that is the way you get solution. Father God, meet them at the point of their needs. Father, I cover their homes with the blood of Jesus and I declare liberation in the name of Jesus. Heavenly Father God, touch the man, touch the woman who is the, 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 the victim and who is the abuser. Touch them so that they know the right thing to do to the glory of God. Thank you and God bless you. Amen.